Hey guys, this is System, and this is E6. Hope everyone is well, having a utterly amazing day. Let's go ahead and uh, jump right back into this pretty cool pack. And uh, in between episodes, did a bit of stuff, not a ton. Just uh, take a look, see here. I went ahead and uh, set up a bunch more crafting recipes. So I have like a bunch here, set up our crafters uh, up to netherite, except for I haven't done netherite processing yet. And we only have like 40 anyway, so probably don't want to do that yet. But I did make another diamond crafter, as well as uh, set up a recipe for this auxiliary reaction chamber. Uh, to upgrade our uh, lapidaries, which is pretty awesome. They're actually up to 640 RF tick. So I have uh, these automated as well, the integral components that I make these things. These things actually up the power a lot on these, right? So with just that, it's only 160, but you add one of these, it reduces the efficiency. So the fuel doesn't last as long, 10% less, but it like doubles the power. Then you add another one, it uh, adds uh, another big chunk there, right? So up to 480, drops it by another 10%, then the third one goes by a third 10%, and you go uh, 640 RF. So a lot of power, a lot of power. So that's uh, about 2,500, 2,600 RF a tick. And uh, this one's doing the same. So big upgrade there. Did go ahead and uh, work on down here a little bit as well. So I have, I'm not finished on the filtering here, but um, these biome demolets, I haven't decided what to do with these yet. I've been just moving them into this chest for right now. Go, let's do that. Let's go ahead and head down here. Down here, I have uh, some filtering. So the way I'm doing the filtering is I have uh, one of those filters from Crate and a smart chute. And basically, this one is set. I'd like to pull it out, but if I do, everything's going to drop. Actually, this one's backed up, so it's fine. Let's go ahead and uh, pull this one out. This one is set to is enchanted, right? So I just have that. You just uh, like add an item, right? So if I go ahead and uh, add something like this right here, pop that in there. There you go. It goes is enchanted. You can kind of sort through all the different ones you want to pick. You can add multiple, right? So I'm going to have is enchanted and is damaged if I wanted. I just click the little plus sign, as it down here. But I just have it on is dim, uh, sorry, is enchanted. And then everything that ends up in this chest that's enchanted ends up into this chest down here. And this one just set to uh, is damaged. So that's the way I have that. So I have like two stage. So there's like one, then the next, right? So this one here would be the is damaged. And the second one is the uh, is enchanted. And uh, does the filtering really easy and really awesome. Then I can decide what I want to do with the items from that point. As well as, like I said, these dimlets. Not really sure what I want to do with them. We did get some funky ones, though, right? Molten potassium. <laughs> we got uh, molten silver. I think I have molten uh, enderium. I think I got diamond here somewhere, too. Yeah, there's diamond. There's gold. Like, you can do all kinds of crazy dimensions with these things. I don't know if we'll need to. But we'll probably do one at some point for some kind of fun. So, that's a thing. Uh, down here, this door wall is doing what a door wall does. I did have to add some upgrades to it. Uh, this was getting backed up. Rotten flush is really good for leather. Four leather smelted down in a redstone furnace equals, uh, sorry, four rotten flush smelted down in a redstone furnace equals a leather, which is really awesome. Uh, these do, but a couple people are telling me to right click and use these. You can't do that anymore. So if you actually go and look at these now, a rare knowledge pattern, this can be used in a knowledge holder to help with uh, creating dimlets. So we'll figure that out later on. But for right now, we're just going to storm. But I only got uh, two of the rare ones either way. So that is pretty cool. Also, another thing is this here, this bow. This bow is really awesome. It is a willow recurve. I think I only chose willow, willow wood because it gave uh, good integrity. But if I put this in here, you'll see I added this here, treated wood rest extension. Uh, this thing it makes it so it has multi-shot four, which is pretty awesome. The recurve bows, there's like three different types of bows you can make. These are the fastest shooting ones. So I want a fast shooter. So that's cool. But the draw time is pretty good on this. So I think we'll be able to operate this quite a bit uh, more later on. Decent durability and pretty good strength, but uh, basically with this bow, you can just do that. There you go, you know what I mean? And shoot uh, a bunch of arrows at once. Actually, why is that not doing that? Wait, how did I turn that? Oh, that's not my bow. Uh, so we got a thunderstorm and that is going to drive me nuts. I'm gonna have to sleep here in a second, uh, if I can. Do I have my sleeping bag here? Let's do that. There we go. <laughs> Make that go away. Awesome. Go ahead and shoot that now. There you go. Shoots four arrows at once, which is uh, really rad and uh, pretty neat. Pretty happy with that. And like I said, we'll operate that over time as I figure out what we need. Last thing I did was this here. So we have this cool door here, right? So this one, nice and smooth, looks pretty rad. Really enjoy it. This one here is another one, but this one's done with modular riders. So go ahead and click that button and there you go. Just like that. This kind of opens, it closes. Not as smooth, not quite as pretty as this one. But you'll be able to do some really funky shapes uh, shapes with this one, which is cool. So I'm using here, I'm using the extruders, uh, modules MK1s. And then I have some speed upgrades in here, so it moves really quick. Uh, these are pretty easy to make. You just combine them with different levels of picks. I think I only use a stone for this one. 
Probably depends on what materials you want to uh, break in place. But basically, that's what they do. They just place things and break them. So really cool, really awesome, really neat kind of way of doing a door. You can actually get a camouflage upgrade, I think, too, to hide this block so you wouldn't even have to see it. But I'm just using our two button machine switches to be able to do the same thing we were doing before, right? Um, I would change this anyway. I'd have these on the back and stuff. But you can do uh, automated doors really easy with these, which I thought was really rad and just pretty neat. This is my nerd fuel. I love this stuff. So anyway, I think that is actually pretty much everything we did. I think we're going to go ahead and uh, jump into some different things today, right? So let's go ahead and take a look at this here. I want to go ahead and get one of these here. It is a insightful crystal. I'm going to show you guys a infusible bugs here, bug here in a second. Uh, I needed, what do I need here? I need to bottle enchanting. I need one of these here, a centrifuge. Let's go ahead and see if we can do that. Here we go. And then I have some honey in here. Let me go ahead and grab that right there. Uh, the honey I got as a quest reward, but you actually can hunt down a sapling. This one right here. You can find an entire forest of these here, the mahogany saplings. You plant these and then the trees inside them, they'll have honey and honey blocks in them. So you can just get it that way anyway. It's not hard to get in this pack. So go ahead and do that. Do that. Uh, you're probably better off going to the forest though because that tree is a little annoying to cut down. So it's, uh, yeah, you probably don't want to have to cut down the whole thing to be honest. Let's do that there. Then let's go ahead and grab some bottles. Go ahead and do that. Awesome. I was going to need a sink here for our bug, right? Like I said, we're going to abuse things because I'm an abuser. Let's go ahead and uh, head to here. You get some power into this thing. Do that. Maybe uh, back here as well. Awesome. Go ahead and see if we grab everything here. Oh, I also uh, found too, you can increase the range on these things, right? So this thing is only, uh, what is it? Range four, right? Oh, I think I have to put it in there, right? To be able to do that. Then you hit C, bring this up. Added some range up arguments. So it went from eight to 12. So it can send power up to eight blocks. I think it said the max was 48. So you can upgrade that. But anyway, let's go ahead and give this power, right? There you go. <laughs> awesome. Pop that right there. Then we need to throw some bottles in there. So let's do that quick. And then go ahead and uh, speed this up a little bit because this thing's really slow. So that's cool. There we go. We've got our bottle, honey. Go ahead and uh, close that up for now. Go ahead and see if we actually make our insightful crystal, which is awesome. Maybe? No, because I didn't make the next part of it, which was the actual uh, bottle of enchanting. I have some enchanted books in here. So let's see what we have. Uh, Phalanx, definitely won't use that one. And what else we got here? Outlaw. Outlaw is actually really good. You can use that. It doesn't even tell you on the enchant. Increases damage dealt to villager mobs. You can actually put that on a weapon that you kill villagers to get free emeralds, <laughs> which is nice. Uh, what else have we got in here? Oh, Bano Arthropods. Awesome. Let's go ahead and uh, do that. Oh, also our thing's messed up. So let's turn that on and off. There you go. You can see I have diamonds again. So it's actually linked up again. There we go. We've got our bottle. Go ahead and grab a insightful. And uh, that's pretty cool. I probably want to keep my dank doll. So what this thing does is uh, basically stores experience. So you just right click, right? And it stores your experience, right? Which is really cool. I don't know if it tells you on here somewhere. Mount 315 out of 10K. So it could hold 10K, which is pretty awesome. I think you shift and right click with it, right? And uh, you can get it back. I don't know how you turn on the auto collect. I may have to figure that out. Oh, press uh, that. Let's try. Nope. Oh, I have a button conflict. I'll have to do that. But there is an auto uh, collect for experience. Uh, but basically, this thing will collect your experience or, you know, you know, uh, give it back to you, which is uh, awesome. What we can do to kind of get infinite experience is like this. Put down a sink, right click on it. There you go. This thing's full now. This thing is full. And go ahead and uh, start pulling out the experience here. I think it pulls it out really slow at first. But as you get more levels, the way they kind of get, uh, it's like diminishing returns. Or I should say, it's the opposite of diminishing returns. The levels get more and more and more expensive, right? It gets, uh, takes uh, more and more to get to the next level. It just uh, starts taking out a level at a time either way. So you start pulling it out really quick, right? But basically, this is a bug. This is an abusable bug. And I'm going to be abusing it because I just think it's really cool. Look at that. Just uh, 120 levels just like that. And I can just keep adding them as I please. And uh, yeah, I don't have to worry about experience at all at more. Uh, no, I don't have to worry about experience at all anymore. Speaking is hard today. It's like first thing in the morning. Maybe I should have had a little more coffee, but... This is a pretty cool mechanic and uh, very abusable. And uh, we're going to use it for some enchanting. So let's go ahead and uh, set up some enchanting. Uh, we're going to do probably a tiny bit of apotheosis. Then we're going to jump over to the enchanting with uh, industrial for going. Okay, before we actually get into enchanting though, let's actually go ahead and make a couple items here. We're going to make this here, wireless graphic rib. And then we need the, I think it's called range upgrades, right? We're going to need a few of them. So let's go see if we can hunt them down. They are right here. Let's go ahead and actually make like four of those. That should be good there. Then... 
Outside of that, we need the, I think it's the wireless transmitter. Let's go ahead and see if we can hunt that down. That looks pretty easy. Hopefully we just craft that. And that's good there. So there we go. We got everything we need for some wireless crafting. I think I have a cable down here. I want to have this pretty central. So this is like near the center of our base. So this should work out pretty well. Go ahead and uh, pump this down on this cable, hopefully. So let's go ahead and do that right there. We're going to go ahead and open this up here. And then we're going to throw in the range upgrade. So you can see there it's 128 blocks. Is that normal? I thought it was way less than that by default. I think they boosted that for this pack. That is actually really good. Okay, that's awesome. I think it's usually like 64 unless they change that. But anyway, that's cool. Then we need to go ahead and grab the wireless rapid grid. So let's do that. Go ahead and shift right click it on that. And uh, this thing should be ready to go. If we go ahead and actually charge it, right? So go ahead and do that there. That looks good. Open that up. Go ahead and uh, probably change this as well. So go to JEI and then I usually like it on medium. And uh, yeah, there you go. We actually have wireless crafting now. So we can actually walk around and craft. We should be able to do that on, uh, I guess, the edge of our base, right? So if I go all the way down here, probably this is like the max distance. You know, 64 blocks is more than enough for us at this time. We'll be able to make uh, more upgrade ones later on, but uh, that is actually really sweet and really rad, actually. That is uh, that is really good. Uh, you can also set that to a hockey, too, and I've already done that. So uh, wireless crafting monitor. Oh, I have the wrong one set. Let's go to controls here. Go to category. Go to rebind. There you go. It is... Uh, Crafting monitor. Oh uh, yeah, I definitely don't need that one. Let's get rid of that. And uh, see if we can actually wireless crafting grid. Oh, it's this one here. There you go. Set to that. Awesome. And now we can open it. There you go. And I don't even need it in my inventory. And uh, I think it just goes into pretty much any curio slot, right? So I can put it on my face. It's actually on my face right now. <laughs> Let's put it on as a necklace. And then there you go. We can access this from anywhere in our base now. And like I said, we'll be able to make more uh, upgraded ones at a time, which is awesome and really cool. So the next thing I want to do, probably before we uh, move on as well, there are a couple quests here for some upgrades. And the main one I want is this here, the feeding upgrade. So we're going to go ahead and probably make that one. Go ahead and grab you. See what we have there. We don't have that. Go ahead and grab this one. Let's do that. Do this right here. That looks good. Um, I don't know if it's going to give me that quest. It did give me the quest. Okay. So there's one for the magnet, but I don't even need it. I just need to kind of do the quest. Maybe I'll do these later if I don't have to do the quest in order. That was the only reason I kind of had this... Uh, Kind of done this way. Yeah, it already accepted. Okay, so the other ones are kind of like optional, so it skips by. So that's cool. But with this upgrade here, we can go ahead and grab our uh, backpack, right? So we'd go in here, go ahead and drop it in there, make sure it's on. And whenever we get hungry now, we're just going to auto eat as long as there's food in our backpack. So just go ahead and drop that in there. And I don't have to worry about eating anymore. I just every once in a while make sure there's food inside our backpack and uh, we're ready to go. So really good, solid upgrades and uh, pretty pumped with that. What did we get for reward there? Flask of Fortitude. Oh, that's actually nice. Resistance too. Let's grab that. Didn't I get another one of those there somewhere? We, we do some boss points at some point. Uh, boss fights, I should say. These are going to be really good. Resistance and Absorption 4. That's actually pretty bummer, actually. That's pretty awesome. Those things will last uh, quite a good amount of time. A minute and a half on a boss fight is actually awesome. We'll be uh, near unkillable with those things. And okay, like I said, we're going to go ahead and uh, do a little bit of a chanting here. So let's go ahead and uh, grab some lapis just a little bit. Uh, we have our experience. We're good. And what else do we need? I guess of what we have, everything. We're probably just going to chant some of the stuff we have here. Just a little bit of stuff. Uh, apotheosis and chanting is quite a bit different than vanilla. You actually have like three stats, right? So Eterna is basically your uh, enchanting level, right? So you can see there's 0 to 50. When you get up to 50, you're actually doing level 100 enchants with this mod. We won't be able to get that high right now. We'll only get the 30. Uh, then there's Quanta. You see there it says controls the variance and enchanting. Basically, it's like a random factor. But the more Quanta you have, you can actually sometimes get like really super powerful enchants. You know what I mean? Versus uh, sometimes it'll actually swing the other way. It's like randomness, but it increases the range of the randomness. Basically, it's what that one does. Then Arcana is, uh, measures the quality. So it makes it so rare enchantments. I don't know what's quantified as a rare enchantment, but it makes them so you see them more often. And also, when you get the 25% and 75%, you actually get extra chance every time you do a chance. So, um, yeah, 25, which we'll get to here, actually, is what we're going to get to. Every enchant, no matter what we do, should have two enchants on it. If you get it to 75, everyone will have three, no matter what. So, that's kind of the idea there. But anyway, let's go ahead and uh, leave this kind of sunk down here. <laughs> go ahead and uh, see if we can actually get this done. Sweet. I was going to just leave it kind of sunk in the floor a little bit. I'll decorate this later on, but uh, for right now... We just need to get our 15 spruce bo uh, bookshelves done, right? Uh, like that. 
Oh, totally wrong. Oh, I totally messed that up too. Oh, I'm messing up everything. We don't have any Silk Touch. Let me go get something with Silk Touch on it. I was thinking about making this soon anyway, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we need, uh, we're going to make the laser. What is this thing called? It's called the Mining Edit MK3. Let's go ahead and grab that. I think it doesn't matter which one you make. There's an MK1, 2, and 3. I just think the 3 looks the coolest, so we're going to go ahead and grab that one. And then I need, uh, what is it here? I want Silk Touch, right? Because we don't actually have Silk Touch yet. <laughs> this is the only reason I need this right now. Let's go ahead and grab you. Sweet. Grab uh, that right there. We got Silk Touch. Then there's a table, right? It's like the modification table. One of these. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab that. I don't think this takes power. I guess we'll see in a second. Let's do that. Well, I know the laser does, but I don't know. I don't think the table does. But anyway, go ahead and just throw it right there temporarily. Pop it in there. Pop that in there. Then we can pull this back out, and that should have Silk Touch on it. There's a bunch of other upgrades we do as well, but not worried about that this second. I just want to fix my mistakes. Let's go ahead and uh, pop that in there. This thing holds uh, 1 million RF by default. But now we have self touch, and that is really what's important because uh, I don't want to have to make more of these bookcases. So, so I'll pull you out of there. <laughs> it's actually really cool. <laughs> I love this laser. Haven't really used it much, but it is uh, pretty neat. So if we go ahead and do that. We should be. Uh, oh, do you need an empty space here? Is that the problem? <laughs> to be able to see the actual uh, level, right? Wait, why doesn't it do that? I figured this would uh, see the things. Yeah, we're seeing the particles now. Huh. Maybe it doesn't show it until you put this in here? Ah, oh, there you go. So when we put it in there, apparently you get a little bit of uh, quanta no matter what. But now we're at level 30, just like you would be normally, right? So it's like a normal enchanting table with the current bookshelves. There's better bookshelves we can get later on. I thought this, oh, okay. I thought this had a memory tube just for the lapis, apparently. So it sees that, but we can go ahead and up the arcana. So you can kind of look at the blocks too, right? So it says... uh. 25 arcana, which is kind of cool. Or sorry, 2.5% arcana, I should say. And, uh, we need 10 of these, so let's go ahead and uh, put those down. And the 10th would have to sit somewhere. Let's put it right there for right now. Awesome. Then we're going to need some of these uh, spruce here to kind of offset this, right? So let's do that, 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 and that. And we should still be at our max levels, right? So if we go ahead and uh, throw that in there, for instance. We have... Uh, 25% of the Arcana, so we should get two a chance no matter what. So if I get this one, Power 5, which I'll probably grab, we should get a second a chance on this no matter what. So let's actually try that out. Sweet. And yes, we got uh, Power 5 and Flame 1. He have a chance of getting that anyway. This just guarantees that, right? So that's actually pretty cool. Let's go ahead and grab our armor here as well. Do that. And we get this enchanting in time much higher, right? We get up to um, level 100, like I said, to get some pretty crazy enchants. You see Soulbound way too much. I may actually grab that mana boost. That makes it so we have more mana. Yeah, I may do that. It makes our mana bar longer from, um, what is that mod there? Ours Nouveau. I may actually grab that. We're going to get another enchant on it either way. We actually got a really good one. Uh, projection 4, mana boost 3, mana regen 3, and on breaking. That's going to make our magic way better. That is cool. Here we got Gormon, fire protection. What is Gormon? I forget. I, I remember it being a good one, right? Food is more nourishing and satisfying when consumed. I may actually grab that. We're going to get another one on there anyway. Let's do that. We'll be able to change these around a lot really soon anyway. So Mana Boost 3, Aqua Infinity, Gormon 2. That is awesome. And then let's do the plate, whatever we get. Magic Protection. Let's go ahead and grab it. Nature's Mend. I'm not sure what that is. I think that's some sort of uh, mending with uh, Nature's... What is that mod called? Nature's Aura, right? Yeah, something to do with that, right? Nature's Aura. Nature's at Nature. This mod. Is it called Nature's Aura? Or am I saying it completely wrong? Yeah, Nature's Aura. There you go. So, yeah, we have some enchanted gear at least. We have something here, which is cool. I may grab the regen again. Let's do that. There you go. Mana regen, magic protection. Yeah, I'll take that. That's fine. I know everyone else is probably going, just grab protection, man. Get protection. But not too worried because I know once we get into the next mod here, the next set of enchanting, we're going to be able to pretty much completely customize these as a chance. So, that is actually pretty awesome and uh, really good. So, let's go ahead and uh, drop this stuff off here. Then we're probably going to go ahead and uh, work on... Oh, I thought I already made these up to the next level. I need to go ahead and uh, get these up to the next level machine frames. We're going to make the enchantment applicator, the factory, and the enchantment extractor. Yeah, I need to make a bunch of these, though. Uh, one easy way, too, to get the fluid in here, I guess, is with these tanks, right? It's over here, too. I didn't show that either, actually. I upgraded these tanks, right? So these are the advanced black holes. So we go to advanced black. Go ahead and check that out. These ones right here, 
These things actually hold massive amounts of liquid. It's uh, 65 million millipockets, and the recipe isn't that bad at all. This is the hardest part. You just need some netherite and then some pink slime, and you're ready to go. But, uh, basically, all I'm going to do is not that there. That's totally wrong. Shift, squirrel, make sure it's on uh, bucket mode. Then I can just bucket straight out of this. And uh, we had the bigger tanks from this mod. We'd be able to do this faster. But that's good. Now I have my pink slime. I can set up my recipes, get these machine frames actually made, and then we'll kind of go to the next part. Also, let's not put down pink slime. Okay, I think I have just about everything we need here to go ahead and uh, do our setup. Just need to go ahead and actually make these machine frames. So this is uh, kind of the recipe here. Go ahead and do that. Probably lock that. Probably be a good idea. Speed that up a tiny bit. I need to add some speed upgrades to this, but I just haven't got to it yet. But anyway, we're going to get this set up. Hopefully get some enchanting done. And uh, that should be awesome. I'm kind of curious if it's going to let us get infinity on this multi-shot. I, I, I'm not, uh, I don't think it will, but it might. You never know. So <laughs> let's go ahead and try it out. It would be a little OP, so it might be, but sometimes they, it's like an oversight sometimes with devs, I think, when they do stuff like that. They just don't think about stuff. They're just like, oh, we'll do this and uh, that'll be cool. But anyway, go ahead and do that there. Go ahead and grab an enchantment applicator. We have the extractor, and then we also need the factory, right? So let's go ahead and grab that. I think this is everything we need for the setup, right? Oh, I didn't grab uh, enter tanks. We need uh, enter tanks. Let's go ahead and grab them. Of course, I have those set up for uh, to be auto crafted, which is awesome. Let's go ahead and grab some dye here. Go ahead and uh, grab three so we can set a channel. Those channels are nice. So anyway, let's get those set up because once I set them down, I might not be able to do it again. I'm just going to set this to a random channel. Doesn't really matter what it is. Can I have those dives back? That'd be great that that and that so these are all linked tanks if one has a fluid they all have a fluid so that is cool so yeah let's go ahead and uh, see if we can get some chanting done we may go ahead and upgrade our apotheosis setup too i saw there was a uh, one we'd be able to uh, upgrade to one of the um bookshelves might be able to get to it pretty easy I want these off because i don't want to listen to it right now so that's good probably going to set this up like right here too nothing too special just a little area and then I guess we'd have to dig out a little area too, so we could actually get these kind of cabled up. Uh, let's throw the chest down right away, actually. Didn't I grab a chest? If I was a diamond chest, where would I be? Right here. Let's go ahead and grab that. That looks good. Pop that right there. And uh, yeah, just go ahead and get these things cabled on the back. I want the have the enchantments be able to kind of buffer in this chest, right? So let's grab a item extractor uh, right there. Let's get down our machines and kind of figure out the order here. Let's have the applicator. doesn't matter where that one sits. So we'll just throw that there. The factory, we'll throw right there. Then the enchantment extractor, we'll throw right there. Going to need to get fluids into two of those, I believe. So let's grab our tanks. Should be able to put one right here. Do that. Go ahead and set it to push. That's going to fill up that. And then we should be able to sit these down. Awesome. I think we have to turn the little wheel on them. And then it'll export down and then fill up these machines. So that'll handle that part of it. Then we're going to go ahead and grab some item inter interfaces, I guess, and uh, hook up the bottom here. Then I don't have any logic cables on me. Let's uh, grab those real quick. Go ahead and grab them, which means I also probably need a variable card as well. Let's actually make some more of those just in case we need them. Here you go. Hunt down a variable. So that right there, that looks good. And then we'll go ahead and grab some logics and uh, just get these going, right? So that, that, and that. Awesome. And then we just need a variable in that. And that should be ready to go on that respect. To do an enchant in this here, the enchantment uh, factory, I think this takes 28 buckets of essence, but we already have uh, 1.4K, so we're actually looking pretty good there. Shouldn't have to worry about that. So that's good there. I think we could actually cover that up for now. Let's do that. Let's do that. That little that little bit there is going to bother me. I'll have to think about that. But anyway, it's good there. Let's go ahead and uh, actually set up some power. So I have a modular router. Go ahead and take that, pop that down. Give it uh, some speed upgrades, uh, energy upgrades, and then the distributor. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and, uh, I guess, pick our machines. We have this, this, and this, which is cool. And uh, do that there. And that should start uh, feeding these all with power. These are effectively ready to go. Uh, actually, I have this in the wrong order, too. Let's get this one out of here. There you go. Sweet. That and that. We want the extractor. Uh, where's the other one? Applicator, right? applicator takes uh yeah this one takes uh the actual essence right it doesn't matter i just want it to look you know a certain way i don't want to have two tanks beside each other looking all dorky there we go that looks good there we can actually straight up do an enchantment we should do one so if i go to the enchantment factory kind of pop it here you'll see it's going to use 28 buckets we got our uh book there and we got a book with looting four flaming rebuke three and stable footing now pretty good right but 
but you don't really want those enchantments all together, right? They're not really enchantments you'd typically want together. So what you could do is put them into the enchantment extractor, feed this some books, right? And it'll start pulling them all apart. So it just pulls them apart. Sweet. They should get extracted. And then they end up down here. So you can see how this is really powerful, right? Now I can go ahead and then hopefully combine them in the enchantment applicator as well. So that is cool. But I'm going to throw down an anvil. I'll just put it right there, I suppose. There we go. This grindstone just if I find something um, that just doesn't work. Every once in a while you have uh, something that doesn't want to get a chance on it. So that's the thing. Uh, this here can only buffer one book, right? So if I could do that. Yeah, it's only one, right? So I was going to go ahead and grab this modular router here. Go ahead and do that. Go ahead and just pop it right there. Then we're going to use this here, distribution module. I didn't use this one last time. This one can actually connect to multiple inventories, which is actually pretty awesome. Um, I may want to do the books there automatically at some point too, I guess. I'll definitely want books automatically in this one. So I'll do that and that. Go ahead and drop that in there. Throw it some speeds. And now if I were to put books in here, they should start just doing their thing, right? Yeah, it's getting automatically filled up with books. Automatically enchanting, which is kind of what I want here. And then I can kind of go through and see what we get, right? So that's kind of the idea. Which one's outputting books too? Is it uh, this one here, outputting books? No, nothing should be really outputting books, should it? I don't know. I, I, it seems like I had an extra book there. So anyway, this is our little enchanting setup, basically. Dad, we can do some OP stuff. Did we get an infinity yet? Because that's really what I'm looking for. Oh, we did get mending. That's actually a really good one. What is uh, weeding? <laughs> we got a weeding enchant. What is that? It's probably, I mean, it's pretty obvious, but clears plants while tilling blocks. That, that, that's kind of weird, but anyway, not really that great. wonder what uh, piercing is too. Let's get to uh, pierce. There you go, piercing. Arrows, arrows pass through entities. That's actually a pretty good one, actually. wonder what level that goes up to. Five. But uh, you can see here how this is going to be really powerful, right? So we're going to be able to get some really powerful enchants out of this, like looting. There you go. Go ahead and grab uh, some sharpness. I'll probably pull that off at some point. Uh, capacity. I'm not sure what mod that's for. That might be uh, one of the power mods, but if we can hunt that down, capacity. No, we're not going to find it that way. Create. That's going to, I guess, change the capacity of something. Not really sure what it's going to be, but I may spend a few minutes here until we get some a chance. One of the main ones, like I said, I really want a fitty for this because if fitty will go on this, it's insane. If not, I'm going to go ahead and change it to a different one of the rest and uh, use something else because the multi shot, it's it, it's nice. It's meme. -y. It's great. But uh, I'd rather have Infinity and not have to worry about arrows anymore because I think that would be just awesome all around. And okay, I've got us a good amount of chance here. I'm just uh, doing a little bit of the enchanting on our armor. So I'm throwing uh, Protection 4 onto everything right now, which is not too bad. So just do that. Go ahead and uh, do this one too. Oh, that is wrong, right? Uh, nah. That is Protection as well. Awesome. I think I still need to do my helmet as well. Yeah, it's right here. I had to disenchant it, but uh, that is fine. But that, that'll put protection four on everything. So that is actually awesome. So that is cool. You see here, I've been quite busy and I've been targeting different things. So things like armor are, of course, give you things that the enchantments only armor get. These books can get everything, right? So it's really kind of random what you'll get. But if you want to target an enchantment, you have to kind of put that item in there. So I still haven't got uh, infinity, I don't think, right? I just did a couple more bows there. That didn't work. Go ahead and uh, pop that there. See if we get another one. I have this turned off so I can do the other one. This one seems to suck up all the, the juice, right? So when I go ahead to try to do the actual enchantment applicator, it's uh, being drained by this one constantly. So that's a thing. Yeah, I'm still not going to... It does not want me to have infinity at all. But anyway, figure that out. I got uh, protection on all these now. So we'll be taking a lot less damage. But I can also go ahead and throw things like mana um, boost on these, which is really nice when they have on there. That's going to make it so we have a lot more mana with Ars Nouveau. Now we're going to get into that mod pretty soon. So it's going to be nice to be able to uh, spam the spells a lot easier, which is awesome. Only got two mending so far and only one mana regen. The mana regens are really nice too for spamming your spells. It's going to make uh, flying around a lot easier for sure. So that's cool. But you see here, we just throw the stuff on. It's super easy. And uh, you can usually throw quite a bit on here, right? So it's actually pretty awesome. Uh, which ones would I put mending on first? Probably boots. Boots always break first, don't they? Is it boots and helmets that break first or boots and pants that break first? Can't remember. I'll put on these two either way. There we go. Now we got ourselves a good set of start armor, right? So we got uh, protection, mana boost, and why did I only get mana boost three on that? I thought I had mana boost fours. Maybe 
there's a max, but the system was making ones bigger than that? I'm actually confused about that because I'm pretty sure maybe it was only Mana Boost 3 that I had. I thought it was Mana Boost 4. Either way, that is good. And uh, Mana Regen as well. So we're looking good either way. Like, look at this. We're actually all decked out. We've got uh, quite powerful a chance already. And they're just going to get better and better as we go. So really cool, really awesome. And, uh, pretty pumped for this, actually. It's uh, nice. I'm going to want um, breaking on most of that stuff as well, I guess. And I want stuff like this too. Quick draw. I think that makes your bow draw faster. Actually, can we pull that off right now? Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we do want it on here, right? Let's do that. Uh, it's also amazing the enchantment factory, like the extractor, sorry. This thing doesn't take any mana at all. It doesn't, or sorry, essence at all. Um, there's sometimes, uh, I think sometimes you get liquid out of it, but I don't know how that works because I've never got liquid out of this before. So it is uh, pretty weird. <laughs> anyway, mana boost, aqua infinity, quick draw. There you go. Decreases the amount of, the, of time needed to fully draw back a bow. So can we put that on our bow is mainly what I'm trying to see here. Let's go ahead and grab a bow. Let's do that. That won't work. Okay, that's unfortunate. Kind of hoping for that. I wonder if it's the rest. Let's go ahead and try a different rest. This rest might be limiting this bow. Let's go ahead and uh, try that out. I mean, we can put it back on anytime we want anyway, right? Uh, it wouldn't be here. I need some kind of wood. Let's get uh, oak <laughs> or spruce. I know we got spruce here. There you go. We'll change our rest to something else, right? Let's go ahead and uh, head over here. Pop this into here. Go ahead and do that. Sweet. And which one would we want? Limb adjuster? No, that's not it. Let's go back in here. It's in here. Yeah, what's the limb adjuster does? Allows attach two bolts to the riser by fastening or unfastening the bolts. Possible to tweak the strength of the bow. So can I just do that? No, that might be iron, actually. Let's go see here. I'd have to go through the um, the thingy to figure out what it is, but I'm going to assume that bolts equal iron. <laughs> Iron's not an option. It's not. See, this mod is so weird. It's so weird trying to hunt down uh, what your stuff is. So let's go into here. Let's go into that. Let's go into bows, right? Go to the risers. Uh, limb adjuster. Sweet. And look at materials. Oh, you can't even get it. Found in structures deep underground and cold mountains, uh, cold or mountainous biomes. So you can't even do that, riser. So that's a thing. So I guess we'll just go with a stabilizer. I can't even remember what this one does, but it looks like we could use any wood. So let's go ahead and do that. I just want to see if we can actually make our bow uh, half decent here. We can also enchant them in here too, just by combining books. I wonder if we could do that in here. Can I put quick draw in here? Oh, I can. Oh, there you go. Oh, Maybe that's the right way to do it, and I was doing it completely wrong. Oh my goodness. Look how fast that is. <laughs> okay, so, okay, I was just trying to enchant this wrong. So, that's amazing. That's already a crazy bow, and uh, we'll be able to make that really powerful. <laughs> that's going to be insane, actually. Increases the accuracy and spread of arrows? Maybe we'll put that one on there, too. I mean, it's not like we're worried about the experience. I think that's all that cost on this bow here, right? So, you do that, do this. And we can always change this too, right? So it doesn't even matter. Uh, was it here? Was it here? Enchant. There you go. Go ahead and put that there. It's lowering the uh, magic capacity, but we still have quite a bit. There you go. True shot. So they should just shoot straighter, right? So we don't have to worry about as much drop off. That's actually pretty cool. Oh, and we got a honing too. So we should be able to make this uh, do more damage, I would think, too, right? Honing speed. Is it all speed? Looks like, oh, no, we can do damage over here. So that's good. I'm using a twine phantom membrane for the uh, actual uh, string on this. It uh, up the uh, the what you call it, the integrity quite a bit. So anyway, do that. Here you go. Craft it. Awesome. Does a little more damage now. Yeah, this is gonna be awesome. In time, this thing's gonna be silly. I think this thing's gonna be straight up broken. <laughs> that's gonna destroy the dragon. Yeah, if I get video on this, it'll be uh, totally rad. But you can see how powerful this is. Basically, what I'm trying to convey here. This is a pretty insane setup, right? Did we get uh, any of the thing that I wanted here? It just does not want to give me infinity, man. I really want to get infinity on this thing. But anyway, <laughs> hopefully in time we get it, because uh, that'd be pretty sweet. Uh, I'll have to keep making bows, I guess, and doing that. Also, to get mending, you're probably better off with uh, something like a shovel or something. Something that has a smaller list of enchants, right? So probably the uh, better option to get it. But uh, I'll end up getting all those enchants in time. And uh, yeah, we're just going to get more and more OP as uh, we're able to see just how much we're able to get on these uh, sets of armor. So pretty awesome, pretty cool. And uh, this bow is already a beast. So I did not realize just how long this video was getting. So I'm going to probably go ahead and wrap it up. But I did add one more uh, enchantment here. It's called Vitality. This one goes on the chest plate and it gives you more hearts. So if you look at our hearts here, check that out. You notice that uh, we have two bars and a bit now. So it actually gave me a considerable amount more hearts. 
And this is only level three. And this thing apparently goes up to level seven and uh, sounds pretty awesome. So hopefully in time, we're able to get that. Actually, we'll be able to definitely get that, no problem. But uh, it's gonna take a little while. And uh, once we do, it's gonna be awesome. We really need Batania to really get the, kind of maximize the chance. So once we get to that point, between that setup, this setup, and uh, I guess uh, the, the Batania setup, we'll be able to just make straight up OP uh, godly enchant so it should be pretty awesome pretty fun when we get to that but i think i'm gonna go ahead and uh, actually end this one here so as always if you guys like this video please hit that like button really liked it hit that subscribe button it is always appreciated when you guys all have a good one see you guys in the next video later